everyone. Welcome to your weekly dose of Super Gaming Geeks. I'm your beautiful and talented co-presenter, Callum. To my right is the not so beautiful, but just as talented presenter, Chris. I swear I get insulted every time. Yeah, you do. That's how it works. And then, of course, to my left is the wonderfully knife-bound, knife-wielding, crazy, don't look at me like that because I'm afraid you're going to kill me and like, wear my skin as some sort of trophy or something, oh, no. stone-cold no. Gary Lewis. Oh, I thought you were going to go into the Silence of the Lambs song again. Goodbye, horses. Yeah. Anyway. It's the only time you ever get to see Gary dance. <laughs> If you ever want to see him dance, just say Science of the Lambs. Yep. I could do the whole thing and get up if you want. No. 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 <laughs> moving on, moving on. Swiftly. We are today talking about the Planet Side. Thank you for interrupting me. Planet Side 2 beta for the PS4. It was amazing. We finally got our codes, actually. Yeah, it was really good. I think we signed up when, was it E3 last year? Something Maybe like earlier than that. Actually, no. Launch for the PlayStation Four. We signed up yeah. to get the beta codes <laughs> for Planet Side, and yeah, it's, it's been a while. Here. Well, no, no, it's you did have them a couple months ago for the American. Oh my god! Beta. I got so excited. They sent me the codes, and I jumped up and down like a girl. And then when I punched it into my PS4, it was like, "This is the wrong code for your area." And I was like, ah. <laughs> it's, "It's okay. It's okay." It's tempted to move to America just for a little while. <laughs> Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> anyway, what is the game about? Um, it's uh, MMO FPS. It's a giant, persistent, on world. On well? On world. Online. Online, online world. world. Online world with never ending murder and anarchy. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much it hell. Is. Imagine Battlefield that just doesn't stop. Every round mm. just is continuous. And it's set on four worlds, four, yeah, four continents. continents. Four continents. With a fifth training one. Yeah, which is crap that no one ever goes on. Yeah, but that's not even... That's like a little island. Yeah, it's, it's nothing it's compared big. to... This game's huge. Huge. Massive. Yeah. It currently beat a world record for the most amount of players playing online... At one time. ...for a first-person shooter. So I'm like 10,000 people on it at one go. That's You're literally being involved... Insane. ...in battles where there's hundreds of you. It's like... Hundreds. It's, it's like the eve of FPSs. Yeah, I'll go with that. Yeah, I'll go with that. Um, so four continents broken down into sectors, controlled by one of three, cl- uh, three factions. Uh, factions. Thank you. Yeah, you do have squads. So you've got each faction, and then within each faction, you've got all your squads and everything. And platoons and yeah, it's all really that really stuff. team based. Really team based. So the three factions are Vanu Sovereignty. They're like the purple advanced alien warfare people who get their asses handed to them all the time. New conglomerates, blue That's ones. Who we are, the they always ones. have rock music, so they're always the best. Yeah. And uh, the red ones, which is the Terran Republic, which are basically giant machine gun wielding. That have been dominating the uh, yeah they the whole dominate. battlefield for the last. In, week. in the in the first game for the PC, when I was playing that with Mark and John, we we were Terran Republic, and we constantly kicked ass in that game, constantly. Why aren't you a traitor switching sides? No, because I like my friends, so we all agreed on new conglomerate. We're all even Mark joined new conglomerate. So, Good, you know. So the idea is that you land in this continent, you end up at the warp gate, and you can do what I did, which was just run around for ages trying to work out what the hell you'd need to do, and nothing happened. It was pretty boring. Sam had the same issue. Sam had the same issue. He needed Most to quit people over have it. this issue. No, you, it's, you know. it's Sam. If you're not a very patient person, you've just jumped into Planet Side Two. You're not going to know what to do, and you'll just think that the whole game's empty and there's sod all to do. It's, That's it's completely wrong. It's probably worth mentioning if you've never played it before, play the tutorial. A little bit of the tutorial, not yeah. too much. You don't need to do all of it. But if you want to get into quick action, you just press the touchpad, press triangle, and it will take you to the nearest place where there's shitloads of action. Yeah, instant action is where it's at, people. It is honestly where it's where it's at, and it will just take you to the nearest place where you're pushing the front line, which is the main objective of the game. Yeah. Anyway. Um. Shall we talk about the classes? Yes, why not? So there's, there's actually quite a few well, who, classes. What classes are we to start off with? I'm Medic. Medic. I was uh, Infiltrator, actually. I quite like playing as the heavy uh, infantry, purely for the machine gun and the rocket launcher. Nice. That was pretty cool. But in the original, I played purely as an Infiltrator. I was really, really good. 
with a rail gun for a cipher rifle. So good. So your character is you increase your stats of your character much like you do in other games like Destiny. Yeah, but you can either set it for so they've broken items down into one of two things: specific class items, so like sniper rifles for infiltrators, um, rocket launchers for and light machine guns for the heavy assault guys, that sort of thing. And then there's the more common ones like C4 frag grenades, and that can be shared between all the classes, which is really cool. So like that if you cool. if you get a gun, let's say an assault rifle, you can share it with like four other classes. Which is really handy. With all your upgrades as well? With all the upgrades, everything. So it's like you, you've got your main character, you go to a store, you buy your gun and you can store it in your little virtual vault for all your characters. Yeah, but it, it's assigned across the entire character. It's not... You yes, get it the character story. itself can change class. So you're yeah. not... Oh, I've yeah. chosen as a, I have to be heavy weapon the whole time. You can choose next spawn, I'm going to be medic, next spawn, infiltrator, depending on what yeah. you, you want to do. Uh, also, um, variety is how you win battles as well. We were constantly switching between classes to Depending adapt on the to the battlefield. Is. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The one class you did miss out. Actually, I was mm. your favourite. No, no, no. I played no, as... we, we, no get, we, we, we get to the max. <laughs> we played as the max. Um, so the max, should we, should we get to it now? Well, we might as well talk about the max now. I remember playing um, on the PC. I've told you this story. There's this amazing moment where you only get these moments in Planet Side. I was on the, the microphone talking to the squad and the squad leader was coordinating everything and they were saying so much technical stuff that I didn't really know what she was saying. But it ended up being an army of Max and there must have been 15, 20 of them ran to the top of this hill because we were having a lot of uh, air troubles. Problems, yeah. Um, all the Max ran to the top of the hill. I ran up there with them and I think I was playing as an engineer at the time and I was trying to heal them all or fix them all. And they all just opened fire on all the air... <laughs> The, uh, what do you call them? The aircrafts coming yeah. in, and there was just all these Max going doom, 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 doom on the top of this hill, and I was just looking, going, "Oh my god, this is amazing! Planes are just dropping like flies." Yeah. It was epic. Only right? in planet side. Yeah, literally only in planet side. Yeah. Yeah. What was you gonna say? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think that's the best. Can you Max compete story? with my epicness? No, I literally, can't. you've got the Max. They were shooting. You got all the aircraft up here, and you looked down, and you had an army of tanks, and they were actually all in a line. Heading towards the next point that we needed to tank, um, tank, we were going to tank it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, you're just looking at and the, the coordination of the people that were playing, they were just next level stuff. Yeah, like a com- a top notch commander is everything in this. I game. don't know if we're going to get that on PS4. I'd like to think we are, but I, I you normally like get to. that kind of dedication. I think maybe. On I think PC. most of it's through the comms as well, because it's yeah. so easy to do comms on a, on a PlayStation. Now, yeah. now you know, <laughs> not on the PS3, it wasn't. Yeah, there's, there's no way that you're not going to be able to do it. I mean, that game is really solid, really solid for the PlayStation. <laughs> Apart from the squad join, but we'll get to that later. Yeah. Um. So one of the things you can do to boost your character is. What do you um, need to boost your character? I, I wouldn't say you have to, but it's nice to. No, I mean, what do you need physically in the game ah. to boost your character? Where we after certain points, points. Experience certain points. And certain points, yeah. So experience earns you certain, certain points. I know you were you were you were more specific when you told us earlier. Yeah. So, so um, basically, to unlock guns, you can use cert points, or you can buy it using station cash. Yeah. Um, and that applies for a number of things like specialized grenades, specialized tools, uh. Guns, uh, special guns for the class. Everything in the game has its own thing that you can upgrade, isn't it? So yeah. if you upgrade grenades, grenades has probably got like a multi-tier level that you can... Yeah, although I think they kind of changed that for the grenades. So you can only have like one grenade of one type. One of the upgrades you can get is a bandolier, so you can hold like two grenades. So unlike Battlefield, thing. if you unlock something in Battlefield... Say you unlock a gun in Battlefield, you can unlock a scope and a mag and all that lot. Whereas in Planet Side. You can unlock a gun, but then you can unlock... You've got three different sections. Four. It's four, four different sections. Which up the power and the accuracy yeah. of that weapon by however many you go. Everything has extra tiers, doesn't it? Yeah. So everything in the game has that. The med pack has that. Uh, to start off with, it's just a, a restoration kit for yourself. But if you go to level two, then it also revives teammates. And... Yeah. Um, we were talking about the best way to earn XP so you can build your cert points up. And the quickest and most efficient way. It's probably the medic and the first lot of oh, cert- and to give the game yeah. money 
and to give the game money. Um, so play as a medic, get the medic tool upgraded to level two, and you can revive people. So you and can then heal the and revolve. That you can yeah. Throw down. So two of the best ways of doing that is uh, medic or engineer because you can get cert points for chucking down um, yeah. ammo packs and repairing. Even stuff if you want to well. be a recon, if you want to be a sniper guy, still play as a medic. Get loads of points and experience, and experience just points chuck and it all in there, uh, and then throw it into whichever character you want to yeah, main, main as. Definitely, class you want to main. Um, one of the great things is that they're doing the whole subscription thing as well. So you can either buy the station cash, which is basically like you know, I I paid X amount, I get station cash, I can then unlock weapons, or if you get the sub. Um, I think it's what fifteen dollars a month. Fifteen dollars a month for the one month plan. Ten pounds something. And for that, you'll get like fifty cert points a day plus uh, fifty percent boost in XP. XP for that month. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'd be quite happy to drop twenty quid on this free to play game. I would, to start especially off with. considering I remember playing on the PC. It's not like it for the beta. I think they've sped things up. But on PC, it was one hell of a grind just to get yeah. to 15, 20 cert points. And you need 50 to 100 cert points for most items in the game. Yeah. So it was a major grind. And then it, depending on how specialised you want to be, it's like 200 cert points, 500 cert points, 1,000 cert points. Yeah, speaking yeah. of which... Um, you also get cert points by actually killing people as well, which is yeah, how I earned most of mine. Shut up, maniac. Miss, not all of us are quite as good at killing as James Bond over here. Mister, I got 40 kills, you only got 16. Yeah, I think we were playing and I had 7 kills and Gary and Sam had like 50 kills. I was just, uh, whatever. Yeah. I just carry on reviving people. Mm. I'm earning my points this way. Yeah. Oh, it's worth pointing out, you can put cert points into vehicles. Yes, you can. Very important. Which I'm excited about. The maps are so big, you should seriously think about putting cert points into vehicles you have to put cert points into vehicles <laughs> otherwise you're going to get nowhere very fast we're in a squad all the time so i'm going to put all my points into a galaxy which is like a hercules ac130 basically you can fit 11 squad mates inside your vehicle and you've got six gunners yeah and you can upgrade the guns and put loads of mad shit on them and i think that each gun's got what three or four well you can choose the guns so you've got anti-air Ground, ground pounders or just like a heavy machine gun type thing so yeah. loads um, of different options and you can options. increase the um, the shield you can decl- um, hide Armor. yourself from radar and yeah. there's so much you can do I'm going to put all my points into the galaxy you're going to put all your points into the Sunderer mobile spawn unit air ground yeah and big guns on it as well. Oh, mortars. Oh, I love mortars so much. And we had a fantastic moment in Asunder the other day where we were... I think we got blown up, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, we always get blown up. We got to a base. We were in the Asunder. You weren't. You were somewhere else yeah. playing on your own. Yeah. Sam and Jasper were with us and they jumped out with their engineer tools to fix our Asunder as we were getting screwed over by some tanks. Just as they started repairing us, we got blown up, didn't we? Yeah. But those Sunderers are really good because they're also deployment points. Once yeah. you upgrade it, you put enough set points into them, it becomes your own little mobile space. Yep. You can upgrade your um, ammo. You can. You yeah, know, so I can. Replenish you, your ammo, your health. You can put a shield diffuser on it to go through. So, like, bases are protected. And if you've got the shield diffuser, you can just go straight through it into a what, base. If the and enemy then, has a shield. Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. So the vehicle just goes, and I'm in. And then everyone spawns and you're like, attack the base. It's yeah, there's great. loads of bases around the whole map and they've all got these big shields. And so, they've also got ammo depots and they've got, what's the other one? Ammo depots and something else. Fuel depots maybe? Yeah, and that's a mission that you can assign yourself. You can decide to go out and destroy yeah. those. Or every single thing in the game is, you're not told to do anything. You have to come up with the missions on, by, your, by yourself. Yeah, generally it's a case of where the most amount of people are and what they're doing. Yeah, and anything you can think of that will tactically help the entire team or yeah. the nation. In, instant action, just if you're not sure what to do, just hit that. Even if you're miles from anywhere, hit that and you'll get put into the thick of it. It's brilliant. Yeah. yeah, Really is good. It does feel like Battlefield. It feels more like Battlefield once you've unlocked a fair amount of stuff. It, it's worth pointing. We played it for about four hours. It and did, yeah. bearing in mind, we generally do whole days of doing nothing but playing Battlefield. And we had to sub after four hours. It was it was too it was intense. Proper intense. Yeah. Trouble with Planet Side is it never stops ever. It's persistent. Yeah. So you don't ever get a break of oh okay that round was good okay rub your eyes look away from it and then okay next round it's pretty much 
constantly spawn, kill, yeah. kill, die, spawn, kill, kill, die. You start yeah. to really appreciate those moments in between matches in Battlefield where you have time to go to the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> rather, rather than going, I play this for four hours. I'm um, sorry, guys. I just got to go. I just got to go. Yeah. <laughs> and then, and yeah. In Planet Side, obviously, when you turn the game off and you leave it, it the battle is still happening. Yeah. Which it's, is just a weird feeling. It's It's always really good, though, because of the way the game is. You, you can take whole continents because the people that are playing on the opposing teams might be in bed asleep and all of your guys are awake and you end up taking whole continents. Have you actually been playing online at the time that the entire continent's taken? Yeah. Because you get one hell of a boost when you take you one little section. You must get one hell of a boost if you, the you do. whole continent's been you do. one. It's really good. Yeah. Really, really good. That I've built, I, I, you'll definitely I, get your sense of victory there. On the well, unless it's because everyone else has looked off because they're asleep. Yeah. Yeah. but that's the way it goes because by the time they come on we're all locking off because we're all tired you know, there must be off. a moment there must be at least a gap of half an hour at some point during the day where most people aren't online that should be the moment actually that's probably the moment where they do the downtime right? yeah but that should be the moment where you just go and take every single point <laughs> right i don't think it works that way unfortunately anyway anyway so brilliant game overall one slight problem but it is a beta, so we can't oh, really complain squad about join. it. Squad join was absolute murder for us. Um, Worked for the first five minutes. And then yeah, we broke. managed to get four people in and then couldn't get any more in and thought, okay, let's disband the squad and start again. Maybe it's because they're joining later. And then from then on, basically two people in the squad. Was all yeah, managed. it wasn't good. It's worth pointing out you can have up to 12 people in a squad. You can, yeah. So where we've got like seven, eight of us that all play at the same time is perfect for that sort of thing. Yeah, because there's a lot of games that we play, Battlefield being one, GTA being the other, where there's just not enough space for all our friends and there's always somebody online you have to go, oh, sorry, man, you know. You can't play you with can't us play with Which sucks. But or, you, or you then go to suddenly two very small squads because yeah. you've decided to... Yeah, or you do that, yeah. Fair. But in Planet Side, everyone can play together which we were so looking forward to but yeah. the squad didn't work but we're not going to hold it against them it's just no, we did manage to actually do quite the yeah, party we, we chat did, yeah. saying where we were going what we we're doing yeah uh, it's just would work better if you can see each other on the map where you actually are yeah so yeah totally yeah so someone's saying i'm storing the building from the rear you actually can see them coming in and can time it rather than trying to guess what they mean well what i did a saying. fair amount of reviving on you guys didn't i yeah yeah, yeah. So. that's where it goes anyway overall are we going well, to sink money into this? It's a free-to-play game, so we can't exactly do the whole, are you going to, but yeah. yeah that's how we are are you going to sink money into this game? I will definitely put money into this game, because I was planning on doing it last year or the year before, yeah. anyway. So, yeah. I'm I'm of the same opinion. I will sink money are we into gonna this. Do, uh, are we going to pay for the subscription, or are we just going to chuck a certain amount into it? I'm thinking I might go the subscription route. Because you can cancel at any point. Yeah. I think I'm going to go for this. I think it's the best value as well. If you're getting 50 cert points a day, man. Yeah. You know, well, for me, I, if I'm going to do it, it'll be the way I would probably recommend most of you do it is that you put a small amount in first, see how far that gets you, see how much you like the game or not, yeah. and then decide at that point. Yeah, if it, you're a newcomer. It, it of should course. be worth pointing yeah. out I'm not going to go for like the year plan, I'm going for like the monthly plan. Oh, yeah, no. So, of course, yeah. You know, Which is what, £10 a month, we said? Yeah. Yeah, I think it works out about six quid a month if you did the year plan, but yeah, yeah. I'm not doing that. No. Definitely start out small and then work out work out whether you want to go with yeah. it or not. But obviously it's free to play, so if you want to just grind and play it, you can do. Yeah. If you want to have any more tips on how to play Planet Side, let us know. We could sort something out. Yep. Watch us play videos of it. We're going to be doing some live play videos at some point anyway, so keep yeah. an eye out for that. Yep. You know, spend a whole evening watching us grinding. And we could stream we could stream planet side let us know what you want tell us what you're after yes yeah in the comments yeah so follow us on twitter youtube facebook subscribe to us on youtube don't follow us there i don't think that works yeah, they can follow yeah, us it's a bit stalkerish following anyway i, I quite like no, we it. want them to do that i feel loved if yeah. they do that yeah <laughs> if it's good uh, enough for the kardashians it's good enough for me i'm not a kardashian man <laughs> sorry no I meant Cardassians from Star Trek as well yeah that's fine I'm a Cardassian yeah. okay. anyway thanks for watching uh, this has been your weekly roundup from us Super Gamer Geeks your weekly dose of Super Gamer Geeks yeah because you know once a week's just not enough <laughs> <laughs>
No, keep tuning in. Make sure you subscribe, and if you're lucky, we can get Callum to do the truffle shuffle for you. Never gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> when we get when we get a thousand views, Callum will do the truffle shuffle for you. If we get a thousand views, I may do the truffle shuffle for you. <laughs> it depends on how much I'm willing to put myself out there. Wait. <laughs> Did I say a thousand views? Yeah. Never winter. Our video just got a thousand views. <laughs> thousand subscribers. Thousand subscribers. <laughs> thousand subscribers. Yeah, thank you very much for those uh, views. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for watching it. Thank you. Do appreciate it lots. Shame I wasn't overly fond of the game Never Winter, but anywho. Anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. See you next week. Game on. Bye bye.